We're back now with a group of local high school students. High school students doing some good with their spare time. Every year, students at Enloe High School. Enloe High School hosts a charity ball every year, student-led, raising money for local organizations. In 2004, a few Enloe High School students decided to take action to better the Raleigh community. They organized Enloe's first charity ball, a small dance for students and their friends. Through ticket sales, they were able to raise $2,000 for a local nonprofit. The idea that teenagers could make a real, positive impact resonated with the student body, and the dance became an annual tradition attended by more than a thousand students from multiple schools each year. Now, nearly 18 years later, Enlo Charity Ball has grown into a community-wide effort with multiple events and competitions, and total donations have surpassed $1 million. From $2,000 to $200,000 raised annually, and thousands of volunteer hours donated, Enlo Charity Ball remains student-led and student-organized and continues to work to make Raleigh a better place for all. While the dance is in December, the Charity Ball process starts in the spring, when about 30 nonprofits submit letters of interest to become the next beneficiary. In several successive rounds, students discuss and vote on which charity is the best fit for the upcoming school year. The selection process is a very extensive process. Um, it was over I mean, like two months, um, two or three months, and within that period we looked at um, prior LOIs that came in of the spring of 2020, and um, we basically narrowed it down to um, the application process, and then finally from there we narrowed it down to three, and then from those three we did site tours and finally chose um, Haven House. <laughs> The partner nonprofit is announced at the beginning of the school year. Events, volunteering, and fundraising start soon after. Leading up to Charity Ball, we hosted a slew of events, and one of them was Open Mic Night. That was an event that I was heavily involved in planning. And essentially what that event was, was we had a theme called Home um, in relation to our beneficiary, the beneficiary this year, Haven House. Um, so individuals were able to come and you know, present their views, opinions, emotions, and thoughts on just the theme of home through music, um, acting, poetry, and really any form that they thought um, helped them express themselves. Whether they're singing their heart out, dominating the kickball diamond with friends, or dyeing their teacher's hair pink, students have found all kinds of ways to be a part of Enlo Charity Ball. Uh, yeah, I think uh, that my biggest project in Charity Ball was uh, the coffee and hot chocolate sales this year. So coffee and hot chocolate sales is um, a fundraiser that happens the week leading up to Charity Ball to kind of get students um, excited for um, the actual dance. But every morning we sell um, Starbucks coffee and hot chocolate in the Western Lobby and we play holiday music and um, there's lots of condiments and everything and so it's a great way to really get the students involved um, and to get spirits up. Volunteering is another major way Enlo students have made a direct impact in Raleigh over the years. In addition to raising money for this nonprofit, students are also giving their time volunteering. Director Peter Morris says the ministry isn't only getting a financial boost from the students at Enlo, but a new generation of volunteers. When we see them enthusiastically coming and doing the things we do to keep running, it makes me say, how do we keep that going? The students not only aiming to raise $200,000 for the Ignite program, but eager to help build it. They've helped us paint the building. They have helped us build the bookshelves, pick out the games, run all of the classes. Early on, uh, a few years ago, when Inlo had decided to uh, give their funding and, um, to Southeast Raleigh Promise, the um, Inlo students came over and they ran a little mini charity ball for our students, which was really nice. It was an opportunity for our students to hear more about what the In Low Charity Ball is about and it helped them to see that even as students they can make a very valuable contribution to the success of the community in which they live. In Low Charity Ball is unique among fundraisers because the backbone of the grant we present to nonprofits comes from hundreds of individual donations each year, two-thirds of which are $100 or less. In mid-December, we host the ball itself, which is attended by students from across Wake County and accounts for about one-third of our total grant. Just by dancing with their friends, students are making an impact. 
Yeah, so Charity Ball is definitely a big part of the Enlo identity. Um, throughout your whole four years, you always see so much of the students coming together in how much they love Charity Ball, how much they want to go, but also you see how much passion they put into supporting the same common goal, which is supporting Haven House of this year. I just feel like as a student now, uh, the experience of Charity Ball has just made me feel like I can do a lot more um, for my community and for just people around me because oh. just us, some students, were able to come together and raise $160,000 for Haven House, which is just made me like realize how much we're really capable of doing. We are a, a 501c3 nonprofit that has donated over a million dollars and thousands of volunteer hours to various projects throughout the city. So for us to be um, in high school and doing this kind of stuff, it just signifies the power that Charity Ball has to be a force for good. To be a part of something um, so storied and so meaningful to our community um, has meant a lot to us and has made it possible again for us to keep our doors open um, so that we can continue to cultivate the partnerships that are needed um, to support residents and students um, in Southeast Raleigh. Every donation, every hour volunteered, and every ticket sold is crucial in strengthening the greater Raleigh community. Thank you for helping us build this legacy of giving. Enlo Charity Ball isn't possible without you.